Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to show you how to descale with white vinegar this Cuisinart DCC 1200 coffee maker. I just bought this coffee maker at Walmart for $60. I did another video on an unboxing and I also did another video on a detailed review on how to make a pot of coffee. But this one I'm going to do is we need to keep up on descaling our coffee makers. So this coffee maker has a really nice feature. It's got a clean button and a light. So if you turn your coffee maker on and this light comes on, you're, it's, the coffee maker is telling you that it's time to clean your coffee maker on the inside. It's got a heating element on the inside and it's saying, hey, your coffee's not gonna taste quite as right and the coffee maker may not work properly. So if you see that light coming on, it's time to descale. Now I like to use white vinegar distilled from Walmart. I can get this 64 ounce jug for $1.50. Okay, so before we begin, I like to demonstrate people. So this is an older Cuisinart coffee maker and I cut it open and I was so curious to see like, what are we descaling? It's not back here. There's a heating element, it's on the bottom. So the water from the tank gets heated up in this little heating element and then it gets shot up to the brew head. So when we descale, this is what we're descaling. Here, I've got another one of these that I took out of a coffee maker. So again, the water comes in, it gets heated up to a really hot steam, it gets shot out. But there, I cut this open, and this is one that maybe wasn't descaled quite as often. But what can happen is, is it, it'll build up in here and start co coating the inside of the element, and your water won't get as hot, and it won't taste as good. So we really want to keep up on descaling. Okay, so back to the coffee maker. The first thing we want to do is open it up. We're going to remove our carbon filter. We don't need the vinegar going through this. We're just going to set this off to the side. It'd be a good time to change that out. You just open that up. Your new one, you're going to run it. You're going to rinse it under fresh water and put it in. We want to make sure we don't necessarily have, we don't have to need a filter in and we don't want any coffee in here. So make sure you've got your filter basket in. Okay. But no paper filter, no permanent filter and no coffee. We're going to be putting the vinegar and water right back here. So the manufacturer's instruction says uh, one third vinegar, two thirds water. So I'm gonna fill it up, I'm gonna use this cup. We're gonna fill it also all the way up to the 12, but I'm gonna fill it up to the four mark with vinegar. And then from the four to the 12 with just fresh water. Okay, so I'm gonna dump the vinegar in. Again, I'm gonna stop at the four mark. It doesn't use much vinegar, so I can use this on several different uh, descalings. I want to descale mine about, if I'm using it every day, I'm going to descale it probably about every three or four months. I'm definitely not going to go longer than six months. So again, there's the pure vinegar up to the four mark. And now I'm going to take this over to the sink and fill it up to the 12 mark with just fresh water. Okay, so I've got the water and vinegar in here filled up to the 12 mark. Now I'm going to dump this in the back. It's going to go right back here in the back where we normally put the water. We're going to, this is going to be the water and vinegar. I'm going to put the coffee maker back in. We're going to close the lid. See, we're not above the max, so we're good. Now, always simply, this has an automatic feature. So it's got this clean button. We're just simply going to press this clean button. We gotta press and hold it. Okay, see how I pressed and held it? It's flashing red and it's also saying clean. Now, I really like this coffee maker and this clean function because it does the timing for you. So what's gonna happen is it's gonna brew a little bit of the water and vinegar and then stop. Brew a little bit, then stop. Brew a little bit, then stop. That's really good because we want that heating element to soak. That vinegar, really helps when it kind of soaks around the heating element to kind of break up the particles. So you may get some small white deposits inside your coffee pot when this process is all done. But it's an automatic uh, process. We still have to rinse it when we're done, but at least we don't have to sit here and watch it. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna time it. It's just gonna do its own thing. It's gonna sit here and flash clean. Like I said, all I did was hold that button and still, until it started flashing. I don't hit any other buttons. Now I'm gonna time this for you and see how long it takes. Um, 
when we're all done, we're going to throw out this water, water and vinegar. We're going to rinse this out with soap and water. We're going to rinse the uh, filter basket out with soap and water. And then we're going to run a fresh pot of water through it. Now, the instructions say you just need to run one pot of water through it. I like to run two pots of water through it on a normal brew when we're all done. We're just going to run straight water through it on a normal brew. So see how it stopped? So it brewed for a little bit and then it just like stops. That means the machine is cleaning. That's what we want to, that's what we want to happen. So you can walk away. This thing's going to beep at you when it's done the cleaning process. So you can walk away, do some other stuff. And then when you come back, you're going to have to run a wrench through it of just plain water. So again, it's starting and stopping. We're on the four cup mark. It's been about 10 minutes and it's still flashing clean. We still got a bunch of the vinegar and water to run through, but it just starts and stops. That means, you know, it's doing its job. You may think it's done, but it's got a little more to go. Again, the vinegar can kind of smell, so you may want to use this. Make sure you got some ventilation or something, but it does get kind of strong when it's brewing that vinegar through there. Okay, so that took about 30 minutes to run that vinegar and water all the way through. It beeped at me four times and turned the clean light off. So now I'm going to rinse this out. I'm going to dump this out and rinse this out with soap and water. Okay, so I rinsed out this with soap and water. I'm, again, I'm going to leave this empty. No coffee, no filter. I've got fresh water. I'm going to put the fresh water right here. Put it in. Close the lid. Now I'm just going to, now it says do a normal brew with that water. So I'm just going to do a normal brew. It says if, you're, if your clean light is still on, you want to repeat the process with the vinegar and water. My clean light is out, so now I can do my rinse. So I've got fresh water in there. And again, this will take about 12 minutes. I'm going to run this through. I like to run two fresh waters through my machine. That really gets all the vinegar and, and uh, smell out of it and taste. So give yourself about an hour. This is going to take you about an hour to do, but you can do some things in the meantime. So you don't have to sit and babysit it. And like I said, you need to do this at least every six months. You know, the more the better, but don't go more than six months. But if you got really hard water, I would try to do it about every three months. So this is a really good coffee maker. Check out my other videos on a detailed review. I make a pot of coffee. I show you how to set the time. I show you how to set the program. If you could, please like and subscribe, and thank you for watching.